We love hip hop. Um, big salute to Poetic Flacco. Okay. Dude has been out here making some moves. Let me see what the view count is on this new academics interview. He went over to Academics' studio over there in Jersey, and he just went crazy. I'm me th- and Flacco seat. Yo, you throw that. Hold on. Let me see what the view count is before we get into Listen, this interview right here, I could pretty much go to any part of the interview, and I'm glad the Academics timestamped this. Thank you. I didn't even see this nigga drink water until three hours in. I'm thinking to myself, Flacco, you must be parched. But he didn't care. He was in he was in there on a mission. Let me go through these timestamps right here. And big salute to DJ Academics, okay, because you know, everybody calls Poetic Flacco a baby academics, academics light, whatever different things they'd like to say about him. Right? But he's been able to carve his own lane. You know, besides being a no jumper um personality. His YouTube channel is booming. Portic Flock will give some of the best breakdowns. You know, sometimes his takes could be a little bit crazy, but I, a lot of times I be I feel him on the take. I'm not completely mad at him. Um, let's go on to this one right here. Let's just go to this one. Like, like the, you're this. working on wait the right, but I feel like though, like even like for example, right, like you didn't violated like so many niggas right there. Now yeah. I feel like you are now like. In your yo, let me be liked, right? Cause look, cause Lil Durk came on this platform, right? Mm-hmm. We like and he said, "Yo, death to all rats." Yeah. And I said, "The old act like would have said, hold up, Durk.' Ooh. We love, we love hold it up. So you and Von caught an attempted murder case. <laughs> oh shit! Hey, hey, by the way, wait, 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 wait. Sure. I like where you're going. Okay, yeah. Because everything you're about to say yeah. is right. Yeah. Academics is fighting to keep his relationship through this interview right here. And everything you're about to say yeah. is why you need to carry on the flag. Of course. You feel me? Yeah. He's like, I can't say it. You say it. You're, you're going to like, you need to carry on the flag and then there's going to be another wilder motherfucker that comes after you yeah, of course. that carries on the other flag. So I like what you say. Go ahead. No, no look. No. <laughs> no. Dirk came on his platform yeah, yeah. with his big little raccoon eyes and, and, <laughs> and he said, oh, come on, man, with the raccoon eyes? Death to our rats, right? Death to our rats. <laughs> He's surprised a lot. Let's yeah, go, listen, Flacco. And I wonder why, right? <laughs> but he said death to all rats, right? But him and Von called an attempted, again, an attempted murder case, right? Now, there's footage from that particular case, right? It doesn't show who was shooting, yeah, right? Yeah. At all. Listen, we have the full footage, right? Um, I think it was Seti Nash who filed the FOI request and got the full evidence, right? Again, and every evidence they have on Dirk and Von and, and like Bezu. They presented it to us, right? So we have everything they had to charge them with attempted murder. Again, mind you, they charged Dirk and Vaughn with attempted murder. Vaughn what was passed, the verdict? Vaughn passed away. Yeah. And the DA looked at the same footage they used to say that Vaughn and Dirk both are being charged with attempted murder. And they said, oh, all of a sudden Vaughn passed away. Oh, no, Vaughn was a shooter. Dirk, you free. Exonerated. Now listen, we all know. Wait though, we all know how the law works, right? <laughs> yeah. If you are in that vehicle, and it, it can even advance the shooter. If you are in that vehicle, nigga, yeah. you'll be in charge with something. But somehow the DA said, "Oh no, Dirk, you are exonerated. Walk free after having a case on you for three years. Oh no, walk free." <laughs> You see the thing with Flacco? He's doing something very brave here. And I rate it, okay? And listen, a lot of us who are on a, on a lower or smaller level, I would say, are willing to do the same right now. But where Flacco is and the kind of visibility that he's getting, he's willing to do this now. And this is why I rate him, okay? Because this video is two days old. It has 153,000 views on it. It's going to get clipped up a bunch of different places. We're reacting to it right now. Other people have reacted to different parts. And he's willing to say the things that he's saying and know that he's going to get some backlash on some of this stuff. And know that he's talking about some real gangster ass niggas, you know, quote unquote. Obviously, somebody 
gave information that the DA was not privy to when they charged Bovon and Dirk. And I'm saying this, right? If Dirk was exonerated, and and it's a facts of the again, it's a facts of the case, right? That both Dirk and the DA, right, um, said, yo, yo, these are these are the facts, right? That Dirk and Vaughn was in that car. So Dirk started saying, yes, I was in that car. So they both confessed, yo, I was in that car. So if the DA is saying, oh no, Vaughn shot them folks, then why isn't Dirk charged something? And then two, what new information? Accessory to murder after the fact, um, second degree murder, first degree murder, just because you're in the car, things like that. Did they have now to say that Vaughn is the shooter? Because we seen the evidence they had and that video doesn't show who shot who. So I'm saying is this, if Dirk charges got dropped completely, you are you 100% confident that Dirk ain't tell? So, he, he. Hmm. the thing is with a lot of people, they're not willing to give these takes <clears throat> because they want to be liked by these people. And I rate Flacco because he doesn't care about being liked by these people. He knows that in the end of the day, it's not going to affect an interview that he does over, and maybe not him, but an interview that may happen over at No Jumper. If they want to sit and talk to Adam, they're going to sit and talk to him regardless of what uh, Flacco is saying. They might bring up, yo, one of your staff over here, he be, he be wilding a little bit. I don't like some of his takes, but, uh, you know, he doesn't, he, they can't stop him from saying it. And him saying it makes him a more engaging character on the platform. We're not going to act. And listen, I don't want to sound like this is a, a Flacco fest over here. I'm, I'm not deriding or anything, but we're not going to act like this nigga is not the most entertaining person on the platform right, right now. And, and for some reason in this video, no stutter. Let's go to the Big Sean take. But a question though. So why do you feel though now? So for example, if I ask you, if I ask No Jumper, if I ask... Mm -hmm. Anybody, yo, would you interview Big Sean? You would say, hell yeah, duh. Yeah. But we say, yo, like, well, again, I believe what Lil Boom did is unforgivable. But I also believe what Big Sean did is unforgivable. But so, uh, Big Sean, when he was 23 years old, I think, right, um, was arrested for kidnapping and raping a 17-year-old girl with his homie. Whew. Here's the thing too What I don't like about mainstream media Because this is a big Big I don't even call it an accusation This is a big bombshell right here This is something that You know I'm sure he's had some research on And we'll do some research on right now Okay we're not just gonna let Flacco just Throw that out there and not go and find out If there's anything on this But I haven't seen a lot of media outlets Take this and say, yo, wait, wait a minute. What about Big Sean? Okay, so is this because Flacco's just not popular enough? Even though he's on the biggest, you know, hip hop streamer, hip hop commentators platform, or is it because the powers that be like to keep things like that under the rug? I don't know. I sometimes I just have questions in my mind. Big Sean pled guilty to the kidnapping charge. And we all sit here and we all bypass. I've never them. heard this a day in my life. No, I'm, I'm not See, saying even this academics real quick. never I've heard never this. Never heard this a day in my life. And this is like put on the screen real quick. Yeah, look. <laughs> yeah, no, no. let's look it up. Let's look it up. Kidnapping. Ooh, is the algorithms algorithming? Kidnapping. There we go. Hmm. Has Big Sean ever been arrested? Let's go to this. Has Big Sean ever been arrested? 
Indeed, rapper Big Sean was arrested uh, in Lewiston, New York on August 4th, 2011 and charged with forcible oh, forcible touching and second degree unlawful imprisonment and a third degree eth- abuse, according to the Niagara Gazette. According to the report, the 17 year old fan claimed she'd been um, assaulted following a show in. Oh, y'all can see this on the screen. I want to make sure. OK, perfect. Perfect. Oh, snap. This guy, poetic block was an oracle. Um, where are we here? Assaulted following um, at Art Park um, State Park. And several months later, on October 2011, Big Sean and friends Willie Handros struck a deal with the authorities, pleading guilty to single counts of second degree unlawful imprisonment. Ooh, Big Sean, a.k.a. lesser charge, eh? Lesser charge, Sean. Holy. Get this ad thing out of here. Get this out of here. Get this out of here. Anyhow, let's skip this line. Um, responsible occur that night. Um, the deputy district, Holly Sean, said that after Sean and Willie had copped their plea, according to the Niagara Gazette, this will allow the victim to move forward, which will um which which she will do. Let me see. What's the fine? What's the fine? What's the fine? By accepting a plea, Big Sean was able to beat the third degree SA charge. Um, She wound up paying and he wound up paying $750 fine. That's it. Wow. It's all there in black and white. Okay. Okay. Just to let you know, just to let you know, Flock is not just out here just talking out the side of his head. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. I'm not saying that right. No, 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 wait though, wait though, right? How'd you find out this? So, I want us to pull it up, right? Why? Because I want for Act to make a decision right now on if you fucking with Big Sean too. Stand on it, Act. Type in Big Sean rape case, please. I couldn't, I couldn't make a decision because I would have to look into the case. Well, here we we just looked into it. Like kidnapping. Okay, so uh, <laughs> yeah. so this is usually how my demeanor, and even with the yeah. boom situation, right? And boom, like checkmate. I played down two to something lesser. Okay, so yeah. so even with the boom situation, yeah. I looked at that to say, I know sometimes people look at people around me and they think they're rich and they have all this money in the world, mm-hmm. and you know, like say something happened to me, I would get fifty five lawyers and they're gonna handle it just like with Diddy, right? Mm-hmm. No, obviously he's way richer than me, clearly, mm-hmm. but still. You know, there's a time in everybody's life that, you know, when I even took a trespassing charge, when they threatened me with burglary, mm-hmm. it was because I was broke and I didn't have a lawyer. And I literally said, clearly, I didn't, I wasn't trying to rob nobody. This guy actually started getting into um, politics. He's, he's doing great. The way he's moving and p- pivoting around that question. Wow. I, your experience is, is showing right now, bro. And they're like, well, you know, the prosecutors want to win. They said, well, we're going to give you trespassing. And I was like, well, uh, like, is it going to be on my record? They're like, nah, not really. It like, you know, don't get in trouble for a year. It goes away. And I'm like, all right, give me it. But in reality, mm-hmm. I shouldn't have been guilty at all. Mm-hmm. I was never guilty. Right. So when, when I hear about people young, um, like f- getting found guilty or something, mm-hmm. bro, Man, we've seen OJ we beat a whole that. murder case we which niggas kind of knew what was up. I, I, I kind of have a little bit of grace for people, and I look at the, the details of the case. Oh, wait. Hold on, Ack. So you're trying to tell me, okay? And this is without him going and checking out the case himself. This is just kind of him being put on the spot. That because at the time, Big Sean didn't have the money, he didn't have the money that he has now. He wasn't able to fight the case. When did Big Sean get signed? Okay. Let's 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 do that first. Big Sean. When did Big Sean sign to good music? Let's do that. Let's do that. What year did he sign to good music? Sean is officially 
I don't care when he left. When did he get signed? That's what I want to know. Gang, help me out here. We'll go through his Wikipedia. Born March 88. Early life. Music career, 2005 career beginnings. 2005, he met Kanye West at a rap battle. Okay, so let's go back to this article here. This happened back in 2011, if I'm not mistaken. So five years after he was signed to Good Music. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. Okay, okay. Hey, you, let me pull it. I've never seen this before. So you're, you're, you're the Hannibal Birds for this. You know what Hannibal Birds did to Bill Cosby? Like everybody was forgetting about all them Quaaludes. Hannibal Birds did one stand-up special, made some jokes about it. The next week there was a whole investigation. A month later, Bill Cosby's in jail. Well, let's, hold on a second. Let's act is that true, Ack? Is that actually true? Cause listen, I had to dig right now to go find out about that Big Sean stuff. Let's do some more some more skimming. And listen, this also, big salute to Master Moves Rise, okay? That our YouTube premium break is brought to you by Master Moves Rise. Okay, make sure to hit them up on their Instagram page, Master Moves Rise. You can get apparel from them. They got some really dope apparel, and you can get custom-made stuff from them too. So hit them up again, Master Moves Rise. Thank you for that YouTube premium break here. Um, let's go. Big Sean... Let's find a way to look this up on YouTube. Kidnapping. Let's just do kidnapping. Ten years ago. Oh, one day ago. Uh, thank you. There we go. Somebody's somebody's paying attention. Ten years ago is music. Music. Attempted suicide. Uh, uh. Nobody's covering this. Look at this gang. Nobody has picked up this story. Oh, thumbnails away. We're doing a thumbnail on this on the its big own. Sean, the big Sean allegations and I shit. Because yeah. a lot of people. Yeah, okay, so they're cutting a piece from the No Jumper podcast, which is not from No Jumper. This is from some guy named Doobie. Um, listen. I'll leave that. Let's walk right back out of there. But the only other person talking about this is Poetic Flacco and No Jumper people. Listen, so look, right? Look. You got to get this nigga bitch That's crazy. fucked up. Again. That's crazy. Yeah, and that nigga was chilling with Janae. I go. Now listen. Now look. So oh, some 2088 shit. Now look. So Anderson 23 and a friend Willie Hansborough had each been charged with forcibly touching second degree. Shade in the six. What up? unlawful imprisonment and third degree sexual abuse after a 17 year old girl told police she was sexually assaulted during a concert where Anderson was performing with rapper Wiz Khalifa, right? Now listen, right? Who's Anderson? Uh, is big Anderson is Big Sean. Um, yeah, he was performing with Wiz Khalifa. So we're not even talking about a broke Big Sean. He had the legal fees. He was signed to good music. So if he ain't got it, Kanye got it. Dotty. Big Sean, right? Oh. Look, so Anderson and Hansbro. Can I ask you a question though? Each, wait, Anderson and Hansbro each pled guilty to a single count of second degree unlawful imprisonment. So he pled down to a lesser charge. Let me see. Yeah. Do, 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 you, do you believe that? Big Sean, AKA lesser charge. If Big Sean was as popular enough to be doing Part two. concerts with Wilk, Wiz Khalifa. Again, I'm just asking sure. an opinion piece. I'm not, yeah. I'm not going on the, the, sure. the, the, the And after the, the concert, they took her back to the hotel room. Again, according to the charges, right? They, they gang, again, according to the charges. Okay. Because he just goes, he, he gets unleashed on this. I don't want him to get this demonetized. But yeah, Big Sean, he caught it. It's not even a stray. Charlemagne the God. Let's go to Charlemagne the God. Everybody caught it in this interview. This is like Poetic Flacco's Cat Williams interview. Okay? Academics is sort of doing some Shannon Sharp shit, but he's he's not letting Flacco land all the way with some of these takes because he's kind of afraid of the take coming out on his podcast. Like this one right here, this is something worth looking into. 
All right. We're not going to leave the big Sean thing and everybody else is catching all this flack. But I guess, hey, he, he pled to a lesser charge. I guess we could leave it alone. OK, let's leave it alone. Let's go to Charlemagne. There's a hundred gates, but we keep seeing the same number one keepers. Facts. And I was like, that's actually a really great point. <laughs> listen, you know what I mean, it's like coming to Viacom. <laughs> hey, listen, bro. Listen, bro. The iHeart Media channel, bro, dominates this culture. And here's what I mean, right? Man, listen, bro. We see these niggas go from Apple Music, Complex, Spotify, and Amazon, and they get get shows every year that flops. They, 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 listen, to get a show in May, that show flopped by fucking August. And get a new show, right? And that shit flop by January. Get a new show again. By March, that shit flop. Get a, I'm like, hey, yo. These niggas get opportunities. About, I'm being real. Listen. Fly, who you talking about? Talk hey, we see the iHeartMedia bots. The iHeartMedia. Like, no, hold on. We, again, oh, we got, we got not the bots, Flaco. Listen, man. I ain't calling names. I'm just saying, right? Is we see the same bots who, yo, like, you, like, how you, oh, for example, Jinx and Nadeska then had like, like, probably like two, three shows that flopped, right? In the last like three, four years. But yeah, but they get opportunities <laughs> after opportunities, but I love them, right? I'm just saying this, right? I'm just, of course. Yo. Listen, look, hey, listen, bro, hey, yeah, bro, hey, I'm keeping nah, talented, form, right? talented though. She's talented, brother. She's talented, yes, but <laughs> she has an obligation to use that talent Right to say, hey yo, uh, I mean, you can reach him, please business. don't deserve that award, bro. She's out to say, hey yo, speed Mormon, hey yo, Carisha, please. Nah, that's a abomination. Hey. Yo. Also, I don't know if you guys are y'all know who Speedy Mormon is, uh, Nadeska Alexis. Uh, Nadeska, Nadeska works for Apple Music now. She used to be over at Complex. She was the the moderator on Everyday Struggle. She used to be on complex news, just doing news reads. It was a very generic news network at one point. Complex used to be this. Used to be the shit, to be honest. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yo, hold up now. Like, but they caught multiple strays. Is what I'm is what I'm trying to say. Relax right here. And he complied. That's his best friend, by the way. Right. Hey, you know that's you know his best friend. Listen. Yo, 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 he, 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 he paid his bill. Hey, listen, Trav, listen, bro, listen, bro. After this, we doing a podcast, my nigga. Years mm -hmm. with the idea, like Charlamagne used to be on the radio, mm -hmm. acting like he didn't know the meaning of words, yeah. whether he did or not. He used to act like he couldn't spell. Sure, that was funny. Okay, yeah, sure. If that guy turns into the political pundit that's yeah. telling us how to deal with Russia, Ukraine, yeah. Gaza, sure. Israel, no. We don't want to hear it. Bro, that's just obvious. Mm -hmm. Van Lathan has been talking about the plight of, uh, 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 of black people in, in, in the African diaspora yeah. for years. Of course. He was always well-educated, well-spoken. Mm -hmm. He always had great ideas. So when he speaks, we're down to hear it. Sure. You're right. Again, I love Trump, right? I call him Daddy Trump. I love that good white man, right? I love that good yo, white man. Yo, what's happening over here? Flacco's crazy. <sighs> okay, let me find another thing and then we'll get off of this Flacco stuff here. Because I want to get to um, the Joe Button stuff. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's find some Joe Button stuff. I'm glad that he timestamped this. Salute to academics on the timestamps. Um, somewhere around here, he went at Joe Button crazy. One second, gang. Let me go through the um description here. Joe Button. Okay, here we go. Right here. Joe Button issue with Flacco. Right, man, listen, bro. Like, um, my only plea, right, but to Joe Button, right, is, mm -hmm. yo. You need to have a conversation with him. Bro, I love Joe Button, right? Now, like, do. Why did he say what he said about you? He, recently, he yeah, said, I think he that, said. That, that um, I have the worst takes um, and and uh, I'm the worst personality. And, really? And on, on YouTube. That's and here's crazy. Why, right? was Because he, he yeah. kind of verbatim, like, was quoting some of the stuff. He it was love, about. right? Right. So, look. And when he and I guess this is based and sorry, I keep on stopping the video, but I'm reacting this. We're not just watching shit. Um, 
This is some some of his takes. I because Flacco does reactions on everything as well as Joe Button episodes. So some of his takes on the Joe Button podcast haven't been so favorable. And big salute to Joe Button. I think I'm gonna start. I'm gonna relieve myself from legal duties for Joe Button right now. I'm I'm not doing that anymore. It's, I got too much on my plate with Drake right now. Pause. But um, the thing is with Joe, he's become an elitist. All right, big salute to Danny from the stop. Danny does some great breakdowns on the Joe Button podcast, and he exposed the man's face. I think they've been trying to hit him sometimes with a couple of, um, copyright strikes. They're not too fond of people doing reactions on them or they like it when it's favorable to them. But when it gets a little bit too mixy, then they start dropping a hammer or they start calling people trash and all that type of stuff. All right. So that's where that whole Joe button stuff comes from. He said, yo, and he does the best research. He does great work. But then once he adds his opinion to it, I tune out and here's why, because I do video on the Joe Budden drama saga and I speak on the very same thing that I'm speaking on now. I put it in those videos and, and, and like he believes that I'm unfair. But listen, my only plea to Joe is this, right, bro? Is yo, like my fight is a fight that you laid down about three years ago. Talk right? to them. So, bro, like instead of tearing me, because bro, I already go through enough, right? Act, look, my first month, right? Of me, I guess, like going viral and you know, and like speaking up against gang culture, I get a call. Be yo, I liked when you did that. You right? So look, you right? Double critical of him recently, you know. Me, I don't because re- sometimes we don't have malintention. Something that I- what I bring on. You have a sense of what I bring on. You have, but again, but Adam and and like Wack are partners on the Adam and Wack show, right? Mm. So like, it's not the traditional, hey nigga, you are an employee. No, Wack is yo. Know, we are fifty fifty partners on this show. If I want a guest a guest on this show, he's gonna be on the show, right? So, but that platform sure. does reflect on you. Like for Fast, example, if I brought on OnlyFans girls consistently, yeah. And someone who maybe they were heavily into the church or spirituality claimed they weren't into women selling sex or selling their bodies sure. on OnlyFans. Um, they would catch flack to be like, well, you're working with academics and only sure. brings on his OnlyFans girls. Right. I guess they would say the same about you. But like, your job is though, right? Act right. So look, mm-hmm. so when I first got to that platform, the first thing I said that even like went somewhere viral was, nah, like don't free Young Thug if he did it. Mm. Two is this, right? I, I said, yo. I agree with that. Right, right. Facts, right? Wait, 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 wait. That's why I, I fell in love with some of the commentary you have. I don't know if you've stuck to it. Of because, course. No, no, no. Let, let me explain. See, oh, I keep trying to interrupt him, you, yo. You've had to pivot a bit. Not saying you don't still believe it, mm-hmm. but that's not what you vocalize anymore. And I, I don't think it's possible for you to vocalize it because you're, you're, innately, act, no, no, yeah. you're innately in a environment surrounded by people who are continuing and propagating crime culture. Yeah. So if, like, again, it's cool for me to be like, yo, I don't care how much of how much your music sounds or whatever. If you kill them niggas, you should go to jail. Sure. And we're gonna enjoy you going to jail. I'm sorry, sure. but it's cool what I'm doing. But I'm not around a bunch of rappers. I'm not around that, those circumstances. Sure. If I was around them, they're gonna be like, bro, you really want to go? Like it would be awkward. I think you're in the environment now. Like for example, like mm-hmm. you're interviewing and you're sitting down with people who are either notorious gang members or whatever. And and part of what they're they're preaching is the crime. So it's like, it, it, it breaks yeah. what you're saying because that mm-hmm. is like something that I agree with. Yeah. Even though I, I'm kind of letting these niggas talk when you get them on the show, man. So in my head, ain't do it. Man, 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 listen up. In my head, ain't do it. Fuck that nigga. He go. But here's the thing, though. Are, are you keeping that energy oh, among everybody, especially if they're from that West Coast? I listen, I listen, Russell. Look, like I, I just did like a few, like uh, right, like probably like Should a Blueface be in jail if he guilty. See, I ain't gonna let him get his shit off. But listen, man, salute to poetic Flacco. I, I respect the energy that he went over there with. He went in there with a, on a mission. He went there to talk about the culture and expose a lot of the fraud stuff that happens in the culture. So, you know, for him to be able to go do that, have no fear. He's not worried about his job on No Jumper. You know, I've been hearing speculations, people saying, hey, is he going to join the academy? I think he could do both. I don't know if that's going to be a thing that's in his contract where Adam will let him do both. But eesh. I know Axe, they're looking at this interview like, damn, bro, I wish I signed this nigga before Adam. Damn, Adam got to him first. 
And I spoke to Flacco. Um, we'll be getting something popping somewhere in the middle of the month, possibly. Okay, so look out for that. He says he's on a mission. He's got a he he he's done slapping up the the, the American scene. He might have to come uh, shake up some things over here in Toronto. You know what I'm saying? So big salute to Ploetic Flacco. Um, we love hip hop.